Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Williams Rink in the Capel Community Center in downtown Hartford, Connecticut, just off of the campus of Trinity College. Well, if you like offensive versus defensive pitch battles, we have the top scoring team in the nation versus the fourth best defensive team in the nation. If you like winning streaks, we have one team riding a 12-game wave versus the other on a nine-game streak. The two teams outscoring their opponents by a combined 78 points. And if you like an upstart versus a team that just two years ago won the national championship, oh, you betcha. Like a Denny's at 3.30 in the morning, we've got everything your heart desires on the menu here tonight. I'm Jake Donnelly. This is the quarterfinal matchup between the visiting Endicott College Goals and the Trinity College Bantams. With a man who started from St. Hubert, Quebec, Alex Morin, the junior goaltender, who has a goals against average this season of 1.77, that is seventh in the nation, and a save percentage of 9.32, that is 12th in the nation. As you see, Aldridge stood tall, making 40 saves against the Statesman. The junior is 17th in the nation with a goals against average of 2.02. He is eighth in the nation with a save percentage of 935. He has a ridiculous record of 21, three and two. That is third in the D3 nation. Alex Morin, not too shabby himself. His record on the year, 17, six and three. The puck will be dropped here in Hartford right after the national anthem. Orlando, 20 minutes on the north and south end clocks. The puck is dropped and we're ready to rock. Either. So, from my vantage point, 0 for 2 on the ice, he calls 2 on 1 the other way. Andy Chuck snaps shut into the trapper of Kevin Aldridge, who comes up big on his first test. It's a little bit dangerous there from that depth, but it hops up high into the air. Logan Day plays it down, goes cross ice over to Biesinger on the off wing. The snapshot saved more dangerous rebound, but the Bantams with layers as Whitney gets flattened. At the blue line, he gets the puck up ice. Feeney, the tip in, saved by Aldridge, and he covers up the loose puck. Pass, and Sean Orlando, the best goal scorer on the Bantams, had a chance, but here's transition for the goals. The tip in, Morin makes the save. These two teams are so evenly matched, even the scoring chances look the same. The other team does the same. This is unreal. Here's Ethan Holdaway. Holdaway, snapshot into the bread basket of Kevin Aldridge. No crumbs. It's Sam Johnson. Back over to Feeney, nice and relaxed. That's about the only person here that is. Sam Johnson gets it poked away. Chance for the goals. The pass in front never gets in front. And then a good hand-eye coordination play by Sabitsky, but it's the goals. Close quarter pass. Save by Morin. Save again. The chance in front. Save again, Morin. Alex Morin, once, twice, thrice at the doorstep, comes up huge, but the puck not out of the zone yet. And Connor Hegarty will use the net as a screener. He's got space, and he's got the aerial route. Horwitz with some issues. Whitney pops it high. Orlando, snapshot in front, and the jam attempt save Hegarty, and that is blocked in front, and Aldridge keeps this knotted at zeros. Woo, boy, this is one heck of a game. And we've got tons of time left. Turn there by Barclay Gamble. Andy Chug motors his way through. Flips it over to Sleeper. Too far forward. Chug, huge hit. Come on! Into Tommy Daniels. And each side has taken a number so far today. His way through, gets it to Sabitsky. Sabitsky to Ryan Cole. Ryan Cole into the attacking zone, just getting enough of him was Connor Costello. Oh, and then Ryan Cole delivers the wood. To Tyler Whitney, to Sabitsky, still out on the ice. Sabitsky in front, the tip, save Aldridge. Ethan Holdaway on the doorstep, he scored two. As of late, the pass out in front, and the ice sniper got a goal, and it's the Bantams the other way. Whitney has Orlando, cross ice, and it hits off of the stick of Doherty. Back the other way, 15 seconds, two on three for the goals. 
And we'll have the first penalty of the Bantams coming off. No, he cannot. Right out in front. Puck still loose. Puck still loose. The shot is blocked by Liam Feeney. As Carter Horwitz was denied the opportunity. 45 seconds on the power play. Horwitz dangles the one-timer. Scores! Logan Day puts the goals up one to nothing. Make that excuse me, Josh Bowes. On the power play goal, a minute 12 into the second period. And now the ever important first goal has gone to the goals. They are 20 0 1 this season. When scoring the first goal, the magic number when it comes to the Bantams is 38.33. That is the average, average amount of saves that a goalie has to make against the Bantams to defeat them. The Instead of taking one, gets back up and it's Sleeper. Sleeper out towards the far side to Gamble. Gamble's back in and it was deflected by Sleeper, but Aldridge steered it clear. Sherman gets his pocket picked by Bose, but then Sherman comes back. Oh, ho, ho. Alex Morin almost. Didn't close the five hole in time. Forward, there was no reason for that pass. And here we come back the other way for the goals. It's Bose, Bose, his shot rings off of the pipe in the other way. I thought that was in. Two on one, Sherman with hold away. Hooked from behind, the pass through the crease and out the other side. I thought that went top of the cage and back out. There is a goal official here on the ice. They're talking to him right now. There is no goal. So after the discussion, the answer is it's still a one goal game. Sean Orlando, 63 goals in his Trinity career, seventh all time in the bumper. Number 16, bad pass out to the high slot. And here comes Josh Bowes. He already has one today. Trying to get by Feeney. The drop pass and Morin saves it. Puck loose in front. Batted out of the air by Sean Orlando and hand passes the call. Sean Orlando comes up with the save. Pass deflected out in front. Brandon Cole has a man in front, and the shot just over the crossbar by Barclay Gamble. If he could have tipped that or one-timed it, Aldridge was nowhere near the far post. Kicked away by Haggerty. Knowlton up ice, too far for Whitney. Woo, and Ryan Pfeffer gets knocked into Tuesday on a nice play by Lloyd Hayes. And that Ryan Cole, who is usually money on the handle, came up begging for change. Great entry, Sabitsky tries to go short side and Aldridge saves, oh! And the Bantams will go on the power play. Ryan Cole charging the net in an ill-advised late check by Logan Day. Feeney, over to Ryan Cole. To Feeney, Bantams moving the puck. Feeney thought about the one-timer in front, and Sean Orlando knocks us at ones. Feeney to Sean Orlando, his 64th career goal. None more important than that one. No call. As Barclay Gamble was tripped up, this gives it over to Black. Black cross sights, and the snapshot whistles high of the crossbar. 3.38 to go in the second period. I do not know how this game is going to get better, but if you have been tuned in since the beginning, I'd put all my money that it will. And it's dumped into the corner boards. Bleck gets it right back. Great puck movement here by Endicott. Over to Costello, and the shot blocked by Ryan Cole. And I can tell you that was blocked by the cup. You could hear it. Right And... After 20, we were tied 0-0. After 40, we are tied 1-1. Here's Chug. Chug forward to Sleeper. Sleeper, he's got good vertical speed. Snaps it in. Aldridge makes the save. Turned his head away as Bose gets it out to the far side. Snap shot. Morn, save, no rebound. Alex Morn and Kevin Aldridge separated by about 200 feet, taking every jab, uppercut, and hook 
that their opponents have thrown against them, but their defense has been up to snuff, save for one power play goal allowed each Bantam. for the Bantams here. Sleeper reaches, pokes it away! Will Sleeper with a half step, his snapshot saved by Aldridge. Never got in on that. Shot from the point, blocked in front by Pfeffer. Odd man rush the other way. Zuccarini into the attacking zone to Pfeffer. Pfeffer cannot get the shot off. Pfeffer, bad angle, shot gloved by Aldridge. And then a 4-3 win against Hobart in Hobart as Ryan Cole watches it bounce. And Cole gets the stick down, waiting for help. Cole gets space. Ryan Cole, his shot deflected in front. Aldridge doesn't see it. Sabitsky jams and... Aldridge finally nice. works the cycle back over to Chug. Chug gets it back over to Sleeper. Sleeper tries to jam near side, but Connor Costello got in the way. Johnson shot save Aldridge. The Bantams are buzzing the nest of the goals here in the third, but Kevin Aldridge has denied every shot sent his way. Who will blink first here in Hartford? Kevin Aldridge or Alex Morin? Right now, both of them have their eyes gorilla taped open. Knowlton over to Zuccarini. Zuccarini spins, throws it in front, hits off of a skate. It's deflected. Aldridge dives on it and covers it off. Every line here in the third period for the Bantams has been better than the line out there on the ice for the goals. But the best player out on the ice here in this third frame has been Kevin Aldridge. Shame. This third period has been dominated by the Bantams offensively, but Kevin Aldridge has stood on his five foot seven head and has kept it at one to one. Bantams the other way. It's Sabitsky, 30 seconds to go. On the off wing, the drop pass to Ryan Cole. He gets by his man, throws it in front to Brandon who can't jam it home. It's two on two the other way. Bows at the end of an extremely long shift. Sticks it away from Hegarty, snapshot, and Morin makes the save on the high chest. Five, is there enough time for Endicott? No, and we're gonna head to overtime in Hartford. 60 minutes, not enough. Whoever scores two will win this one. One to one after the end of regulation between the goals and the Bantams. And it back. will make its way back out into the neutral zone. Here's Sean Orlando, the best goal scorer for the Bantams. The clapper just whistles by the crossbar as Tyler Whitney will get called for a penalty here. So Tyler Whitney into the box. 43 seconds into the overtime period and there was no reason for that hit. Will that doom the Bantams? Whitney for boarding. Endicott, one for two on the power play today. Sleeper wins it back to Feeney. Pfeffer tries to shovel it out, he can't. The tip from in front, saved by Morin, and it's flopped into the protective netting. Off, out to Logan Day, the best scoring defenseman in the NCAA. He keeps it in at the blue line. Cross ice, that's where Endicott scored the deflection in front. Morin makes the save, he stayed just strong enough. And it was nowhere near the line. Biesinger reaches behind with 38 seconds left on the power play. Biesinger settles, gets it over to Day. Day, the one time, no, pass was a little bit offline. Cross ice, oh, the wide open net for Biesinger and he missed it. Logan Day in the high slot, out towards the far side. Day calling for it, the one timer, wide, the rebound, that misses. 18 seconds, two wide open cages. And Anthony make that Will Sleeper. Sleeper racing against Aldridge. Aldridge throws it behind the net. Five seconds left on the power play. And Liam Feeney pokes it free to Sam Johnson. We're back to even strength. Bantams have a chance for the three on two. Sabitsky cross ice to Feeney. Feeney. Snapshot saved, dangerous rebound. And Indirect over to Ryan Cole. He can make things happen. Ryan Cole into the attacking zone. Snapshot, oh, and Aldridge makes the save. Cole tried to go low side, and Aldridge just big enough. Does as the Cole brothers go south of the goal line. Sabitsky, his shot. Oh, left leg pad save by Kevin Aldridge. Ryan Cole spins free. His snapshot 
Never got in on that. Feeney keeps it in at the point. Deflection in front. And Aldridge looked behind him. And it was between his legs. One timer into the skates of Daniels. Chance the other way in transition. And on sides. The pass in front. Bows is hooked from behind by Orlando. It should be a penalty shot. But it's just a hook right now. Everybody's tired. Logan Day winds it up. Morin, positional save. Sabitsky right on top of him. Sabitsky's the only guy on the ice for the Bantams with fresh legs. Hegarty gets down to block the pass. 45 seconds left. The jam attempt. Cross ice. The shot into the protective netting. I think Will Sleeper got a piece. Down as a piece of graphite is out on the ice. Bose tries to beat Morin. Oh, that was so close to going top shelf. Over time period, the Bantams, their fourth best penalty killing unit in the country, two for two here in overtime. Sabitsky with a B under his bonnet, south of the end line. Ryan Cole pries it loose. Cross ice to Griff Martin, the shot saved by Aldridge. Face off, it's Orlando who alley oops it. Three, two, one. We're going to play another one. 80 minutes, not enough here in Hartford. Bantams, goals, still tied at one. We're going to keep on going until we've got number two. The buzzer sounds here. 20 minutes on the north and south end clocks. Overtime, period, number two. The puck is dropped and we're ready to rock in Hartford. And here's Ryan Cole on a fresh sheet of ice. Cole into the attacking zone on the off wing. Snaps it. Waffle boarded away by Kevin Aldrich. Sabitsky. The last goal in this game came with four minutes and 32 seconds left in the second period. Face off. One by the goal. Snapshot in Morin. Deflects it wide. It's dumped on in. Sam Johnson had options. Didn't use any of them. Comes out to the point, Feeney deflects it, whips it back around. The shot off of a body, still loose in front. Morin makes the save on the loose ball, and Johnson goes indirect over to Ryan Cole. Cole into the attacking zone with Sabitsky. Dips the shoulder, throws the back in, Sabitsky tips it in! Tips it in! And the Bantams mug Anthony Sabitsky! The Trinity College Bantams are going to Utica! Four, 15 into overtime period number two. And Ryan Cole made it happen. Brandon Cole can barely stand up. The best game I have ever seen in the history of Trinity College goes to the home squad two to one. There's not a single player who wore a sweater and grabbed a stick here tonight that should hang their head. Most notably, Kevin Aldridge. That was something special.